guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this tuesday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here so yesterday we had two beautiful and powerful messages coming through one was a message in music from the divine masculine letting the you know that they have all this love for you that they have now got to this point of realizing that you only you are the one for them and you know they are thanking the universe for this divine love they're thanking the creator for bringing you into their life and you know they've realized that there is nobody else out there who is more precious than you really beautiful message that was coming through do check that out if you haven't seen it and then the next message was really showing that you know good news is coming for you it is coming in for you the divine feminine and you know that the divine masculine is really sort of stepping into their power you know, realizing that they have the power to bring in that life that they truly desire, becoming that magician of their life. And they are working on making the changes that they need to make so they can be able to move forward towards you. And it is really about, they were also really letting you know that every day is bringing them closer to you. You know, it's like that love is getting bigger and bigger for them, for you. And they are getting closer to you every, as each day passes as well. Really powerful message do check that out. And if you are looking to have a personal reading done, I'm offering personal readings. You can contact me via my email or via my website. The d details will be in the description box below. And um, earlier I was looking for my shoe and I just found this just underneath here and it says anything is possible. It must have fallen down maybe last week or the week before. I'm not even sure. But the message coming through from the angels, it's always relevant when you find it is that anything is possible. So you're being asked to trust with this message you know trust that your divine masculine is doing what they have to do to be able to get to you you know they are working behind the scenes there's the law going on behind the scenes that you may not see on the 3d but your divine masculine is working to move forward towards you so it's about trusting in your divine masculine to get to where they they would like to be to get to that love that they also desire that life that they desire with you their divine feminine it's about you trusting in in yourself trusting in the way you feel it's about you trusting in your journey that you are going to get to where you truly would love to be you know out to that end result it's about trusting that the universe and the angels are working behind the scenes to bring in that life that you desire for you it is also about you trusting in the signs, the messages and the synchronicities that you receive, you know, in relation to your journey. So you're being asked to trust because anything is possible. It's also about trusting in miracles, you know, because what may seem impossible to you, you know, what may look impossible on the 3D, the angels are saying anything is possible. You know, with the creator, anything is, is possible. With the universe, anything is possible. So it's about you trusting in miracles, believing that, you know, what may seem impossible is possible. So really beautiful message that is coming through here. And, you know, since we got the messages that were coming through yesterday about the divine masculines, you know, knowing and letting you know that every day is moving them closer towards you. You know, they are making the changes. They are doing what they need to do on their side. So today is about giving putting you back in your power as a divine feminine, remembering that the way you get back into your, into you stand in your power on this journey is by putting all the focus on yourself. You know, all that self-love, keep doing what you're doing, keep working on yourself, keep getting into this place of being joyful in your life, being authentically and joyful and just living your authentic life as well. Just keep putting everything onto yourself because the more you put all that love on yourself, the more that will be reflected in your outside world. Everything that is going on within you inside there is what is reflected on your outside world. So the more love you give yourself, the more everything you give yourself, the more that love is going to be reflected on, on your outside world. The more you get in, it is, and it is also about getting into that inner union. Because when you get into inner union, then that union will be reflected in the outside world as well with that union with your divine masculine. So it is about you focusing on the inner world and getting into that place of inner union. So we are going to bring in a few decks to see what messages the angels have got 
got for you today. So we're starting with the love your inner goddess because it is really about loving your inner goddess, you know, loving yourself. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for everyone today? What messages are coming through for everyone today? Any other messages coming through for everyone on this day from this deck? Any other messages coming through? Thank you, angels. Okay, and then we're going to bring in the guardian angel reading cards, guardian angel reading cards as well. Thank you, angels. Any other messages from this deck? Okay, and we are also going to bring in the sacred traveler um, deck. Thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for everyone today? What messages are coming through for everyone? And we are also going to bring in the Archangel Animal Guides to see what messages are coming through for you today. Thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for everyone? Any other messages from this deck coming through? No, I think that's that. And then I'm also going to, and then we'll finish off with my deck, which is the Divine Feminine Illumination deck. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through? Right. So let's see what messages are coming through. Wow. So the first card is be your own hero. Really, really powerful. You know, the angels are saying, you know, it is about you being your own hero. And, you know, because there is nobody else to help you to get to that life that you truly desire. It is by you being your own hero. You doing the things that you truly enjoy doing in your life. You getting into this place of raising your vibration. You being in this place of loving yourself. By being that hero for yourself, you are going to bring in the life that you truly truly desire. So it's about you getting into this place of having all that love for yourself, you know, loving yourself uh, more than you, anyone else can ever love you. That is the love that you give yourself. And you being in this place of giving yourself all the things that you'd want anyone else to give you. It's about being your own hero and putting all those things onto yourself. And the more you do that, the more you are going to be able to have that reflected in your outside world and all the other things that you desire coming in as well. So you are, you become your own hero by focusing on yourself and doing the things that you would want to happen on the outside world, doing them all onto yourself. Because the more you do that, the more you're going to be your own hero and bring in all the things that you desire because you are a powerful divine being. You know, you are, you have the power to create that life that you truly desire by putting all that love onto yourself, by being positive as well. So be your own hero by thinking positive thoughts, by doing good things, you know, being kind and being generous as well, just being in gratitude as well. So the more you do all those great things for yourself, starting with yourself and then do those things for others, the more you are going to bring in all those things that you truly desire. So the angels are saying, be your own hero. Really, really beautiful. And then and the next card that came out, wow, is the angel of truth. And it says true. So this is about you standing in your truth. You know, it is about you standing ground for the things that you truly believe in, you know, and also speaking your truth at all times, because, you know, you are a being of love. There is that little heart on the face there. It is about you speaking truth and truth is all about love. You know, the creator is about truth and love. So it is about you always being in this place of speaking your truth, doing things from the heart, you know, doing things, everything being about truth and you know it's like you are you become that angel of truth of always being there to do things that are true to yourself it's about being authentic as well you know being your true authentic self and that really helps you to move forward towards that life that you truly desire and the next card that came out says shaman of skulls and it says fearless on the side there so this is about you being a fearless divine feminine, you know, standing up for the things that you truly believe in, standing in your truth and really being fearless, you know, having that vision of the things that you truly desire and being positive about getting to that life that you desire and doing that without being, without, by le le letting go of fear and standing 
more in love. So it's about you being fearless. And the more you release fear and stand in love, the more you become fearless. You know, it's about letting go of fear and really sort of standing up for love, standing up for truth. And that way you become fearless because fear has no way to go when you are standing in your truth, when you are standing from this place of love. So it is about you being fearless and, you know, going for the things that you truly desire as well, being courageous and moving forward for the things that you truly desire. And the last card that came out says, beautiful woman, I think it says, I'm not, I, I can't really see that, but it says beautiful there anyway. And then it says medicine wi wisdom. So this is about your wisdom. You know, you are a wise divine feminine. You've got so much knowledge and power within you. It is about using that wisdom that you have within you to create that life that you truly desire. It's like you are the magician of your life as well. You know, from the thoughts that you think, from the, from using that knowledge that you have within you, you can create that life that you truly desire. Really beautiful messages. And then the cards that came out from um, the travelers, there's the sacred traveler. The first one is crossing bridges and it says it's time for healing, connecting, mending and releasing. So really, really powerful. The angels are saying here, this is a time for healing. You know, during this time of separation with your divine masculine on the 3D is really a time for you to heal. You know, to let go of the things that no longer serve you, to heal your life as well, to heal, you know, things that may have happened with your divine masculine, to heal your heart, you know, to heal uh, things that have happened in your life, in the, in your, you know, in your childhood as well. It is a time of healing. You know, it's like you are going across that bridge from one side of your life to this new life, you know, that you're moving forward towards. So to do this, you go through this time of healing. You go through this time of connecting. That's about connecting with the angels, connecting with the creator, realizing that you are connected with everything and everyone, connecting with your divine masculine as well on the 5D. So it's, you know, it's a time of healing, of connecting, of mending. This may be mending, you know, that um, connection with your divine masculine as well, mending relationships with other people as well, you know, that you may need, you know, whether it may be, you may need to mend relationships with your parents, you know, if then things have happened before with your family. So it's about mending relationships as well and about releasing. So, you know, this is the time as you go from that side of your life, to, you know, to the new you, to the new true authentic self that you're becoming, you are going through this time of releasing as well. So as you go over that bridge, you sort of let go of all the things that no longer serve you, negative people, negative situations, you know, things that drag you down, fears. It's about releasing all those so that you can get to that other side, you know, being your true authentic self, living that life that you truly desire. Really, really powerful. And the next card, that came out is the cleansing waters and it says purification activates vibrant life force so this is about you actually you know this can be actually you just sort of flowing with life so as you can see she's sort of just lying there just being in this place of flow not trying to push things not trying to control the journey not trying to make things happen but just going with the flow trusting that everything is working out exactly as it is meant to work out because the angels and the universe have got this but this is also about purification activates vibrant life force so this is about you know purifying your life you know letting go cleansing yourself as well this can be about decluttering your play your space you know cleansing letting go of the things purifying your life letting go of the things that no longer serve you the fears the things that sort of drag you down addictions you know eating unhealthily just letting go of the things that you're not going to bring onto that other side of of the bridge that you're moving towards so it's about getting into this place of purifying yourself but this can also mean actually cleansing your energy field as well you know you can use sort of sage to cleanse your energy field let go of negative thoughts as well that's part of purification you know you can also use like you know it's because it says cleansing waters there 
that's like having epsom salt baths you know that's that's really good to really sort of cleanse your energy field as well so this is about cleansing yourself so that you can be able to move forward towards becoming you know your true authentic self towards the, becoming the greatest version of yourself towards this new life that you are crossing the bridge towards so it's about you you know going through this time of purification this time of cleansing yourself of the things that no longer serve you so that that you can be able to move forward towards your new life and then the card that came out from the archangel animal guides be forbearing and patient and it's the camel so this is about patience the angels are saying you know it's about being patient with yourself as well as you go through this time of transformation you know moving from one side of the life that you've had towards the new life that you're moving into it's about being patient with yourself being patient with the journey as well being patient with your divine masculine so you are going through this time of learning this patience. So it's about you just being in this place of being patient in relation to your journey. Really, really beautiful. And the last card that came out is the cat. Be relaxed and independent. So this is about you just being relaxed, you know, relaxing in, in, in relation to your life. Just knowing that everything is exactly as it is meant to be. It is all flowing as it is meant to not trying to make things happen or force things, but just being relaxed about the journey as well, going with the flow and being independent. You are also learning to be independent on this journey, you know, releasing core dependency as well and just learning to be independent because that is what will help you as well in relation to this new life that you're moving forward towards. So the next cards that came out uh, from the... um the guardian angel cards, reading cards, the first one is the angel of learning. So this is about you learning things whilst you go through this time of transformation. You know, the things that you're learning as you move from that person that you were before to that you to your true authentic self so it's a time of learning so this can be about you actually taking some courses that will help you to do the things that you'd love to do you know you may want to change your job so it's about you going through this time of learning but you're also learning about yourself about your journey about your divine masculine about this divine love about you know life itself so you are going through this time of learning so it might may be you may want to take some courses, you know, to do certain things that will help you to maybe change your job towards service as well. And the next card that came out is the angel of gratitude. So this is about use, using gratitude on a daily basis, being grateful for your life, being grateful for this life that you have, because it is a beautiful life, you know, being grateful for who you are, accepting yourself as you are and being grateful for your body, you know, grateful to your body for carrying you all these years that is it has it has carried you being grateful to the universe you know for everything that is around just being grateful for your life being grateful for this journey with your divine masculine you know be grateful that it is teaching you to come from one side of the life that, of the life that you have known to this new life to be your true authentic self so it is about using gratitude on a daily basis and that will help to bring you the things that you truly desire as well and the angel of love how beautiful is that? You know, so they, this is the angel of love showing you that there is that love between you and your divine masculine. You know, you've got the love. You may still just be sharing it on the 5D at the moment, but you know, that love is coming in for you. The angels of love are there to bring in the Romans angels, bringing in that love for you as well. But this is really showing you that there is that love that is coming in for you and you have that love with your divine masculine and you are going to have that life that you truly desire as well really really beautiful and then the cards that came out from my deck um so there's a few cards here so the first card that came out is letting go and it says i understand that letting go is not about me giving up it is about me gaining my power back doing me focusing on self-love loving my divine masculine unconditionally and letting things flow naturally I am letting go. So really, really powerful that that has come out. It is about you just letting go and trusting, you know. And then the next card that came out is 
uh, feelings and it says listening to my feelings at all times gets me more in tune with my heart and soul's desires and also helps me to listen to the messages that my body is constantly giving me i am trusting in the way i feel so this is about you trusting in the way you feel and the next card is path and it says with the knowledge that there is always a bigger picture that i cannot see I am letting go and trusting that my divine masculine will find his way back in the right divine timing because all paths lead home. Really, really powerful. I am trusting in, the, I am trusting in the path that I am being guided to follow. So really powerful message coming through there. And then the next card that came out is confidence. And it says, by stepping into my divine feminine power, accepting myself as I am and knowing my worth, I am letting go of victim mentality and becoming more confident in myself and my abilities. I am beaming with self-confidence. So the angels are saying here, it is so important for you to be in this place of being confident about your journey, about that love that you have with your divine masculine, about the fact that you are going to get to where you truly would love to be because you are both being guided and all paths lead home and your divine masculine is making their way towards you, getting closer to you every day. So it is about you trusting. And the last card that came out is mission. And it says, the more I love, the more love I give myself about that self-love again, giving yourself all that love. The more love I give myself, the more I am on the road to my mission of becoming the best version of myself, which in turn helps me to fulfill my mission for being here on earth. I am focusing on mission. So the more you put your, that love onto yourself, it helps you to become the greatest version of yourself. It moves you towards becoming your true authentic self. It helps you to bring in all the other things that you truly desire. So it is about you focusing on yourself, you know, and when you do, you find out the things that you truly would love to do. You find out the things that light you up inside, the things that are part of your mission, but you have to put all that focus on yourself. So so the more you do that, the more you put all that love on yourself, the more you focus on your feelings as well, find out what you truly desire, what your heart's desires are, the more you are going to find out the things that you are here to do, the things that are part of your mission as well of being here on earth. So I am focusing on mission. So really, really beautiful messages coming through here from the angels, you know, and these ones were really messages coming through from your higher self as well and from the angels to help you on your journey as you focus more on yourself because the more you do that the more you are going to bring in the things that you truly desire because what you do to yourself will be reflected in your outside world i really hope you have a great day guys and i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light